All right, guys. Now for this intro, I have a really cool idea that I really want to talk about. Oh, wait. No, I don't have any time left. All right. So now we're all done with our render. Let's just import our image sequence now that's completed. So I believe I've had it under Maya projects, something like that. So I need to go to my. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. My documents, of course. Under images, test 001. All right. Upload as a TIFF sequence. Make sure my alpha is set to ignore since this is a TIFF and it's uncompressed. Make a new comp and uh, there you go. Look at that. How you like them apples, YouTube? So far, this render in total took me about uh, 15 hours. I really want to put in another level of anti aliasing, but that would probably definitely bump it up to 30. Anyways, now let's set up this render queue. Frame rate, of course, the 29.947. Output it. Let's leave it at a H.264 QuickTime. Let's see. Bit rate's all good. A little bit way too freaking high for YouTube, but who cares? You got to make it that for the desktop, and there you go. So, now we're ready to render this thing out for finally uploading it to YouTube. All right, then, guys, there you go. My entire process workflow. First, you grab your video, whatever source you want from After Effects, boost it up into an image sequence, transport that over into PF Track and track it, get that, import it into Maya, make a scene around it, environment, lighting, materials, you know how it works, render it all together in less than about 24 hours, preferably, and boom, there you go. I didn't really get that into using what materials I had for Maya and explaining them thoroughly because. Really, that's a very personal thing for most people. It definitely has to do with a lot of with your style, what kind of look you're exactly trying to get, and whatnot. But in the future, I definitely will be making a full-scale set of tutorials just for 3D applications like this in Maya. So, All right, I'm only going to say this once, but I actually suggest to subscribe to me because this isn't some money-whoring YouTube thing. This is some real important informative stuff. I'm just going to say it once. Subscribe to me if you like. Okay? But in any case, get off your computer, go outside, and make some badass 3D CG. So, And if you do make some CG, I really want to see it. So please post a video response if you do actually make some. In the meantime, I shall be seeing you tutorialites later. So, Digital Drop Block, signing off. When I talk, I talk like a badass mother... Anyways, the idea that I ran out of time was...